basically the, the markets are looking for the authorities to agree among themselves so that there should be one speaking with one voice, with one purpose. And secondly, that they should have enough resources at their disposal to carry out the plan on which they agree. And uh, I think that they are demonstrating, the authorities are demonstrating a determination to save the euro. That uh, actually, in uh, Angela Merkel, is the one who is really leading the charge. She's determined to do whatever it takes to save the euro. But they have not been able to really iron out the differences uh, because the, the, within Germany you've got different voices. There's a, uh, there are conflicts between the central bank and the governments and uh, there's differences between France and Germany. And then there are all the other countries uh, that are uh, not given sufficient uh, information and voice. So it is, a, it is really uh, a demonstration how ungovernable the, the European Union has become. So there is a real uh, uh, governance uh, issue. So there is an, a really uh, the euro uh, is in the process of endangering the European Union politically. And you've compared this crisis to the fall of the Soviet Union. You've said that it has that same feel that the system has collapsed, but they're still trying to pretend that it's still there. Do you, is that, does it really feel like that, that something is just about to ex implode? Well, well we, we, we now have a, 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 a dynamic of disintegration at work. You, you had uh, the European Union was built up uh, by... Uh, uh, self-reinforcing process with the leadership leading the, the, the uh, move towards greater integration. Now, since uh, the, the process sort of ran out of steam and now is, is reversing and there are different uh, uh, voices, the leadership is trying to preserve the status quo. At the time when those rules and arrangements were put in place, they, it was everybody knew that they were in, incomplete, that there will be a need for further steps forward. Uh, but they had confidence that when the time comes, they will be able to make those uh, steps forward. Now the mood is different. Uh, Germany, which had been the leader of integration, is now uh, 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 afraid of becoming the deep pocket uh, that the other countries are going to pick, and they don't want to be the the uh, the deep pocket for what they call a transfer union. Uh, so they are now resisting that, and and because of that. Uh, the, the the authorities are trying to preserve the status quo, and everybody who recognizes that the, that the present situation is not sustainable, that you've either got to go forward or you're going to go backward, but you can't stay here, and everybody who realizes that is put into a position. Of being, of, of being anti-European. So people are looking for national solutions. And that then creates a political dynamic that, that uh, reinforces the dissolution.